Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohammed Ali and the previous tutorial we have completed our uh, settings, account settings uh, activity. But one thing which is left is, uh, that is whenever you change the profile picture and the setting when you click on update, then it basically logs us, uh, it perform the, I mean it uh, do the changes but it send us to the main activity and the main activity is basically our startup activity. If I show you here then this is our main activity okay which is our startup page so we do not need to send the user here this is done by mistake okay and many people comment or send me messages on facebook that is there is a bug this is not a bug but just by mistake here on our settings activity when we say update only user info we just send the user from the settings activity to the main activity now here you can simply change it to home activity which is our main page of this app and also come down here inside this user info save we have this upload image and at the bottom we are sending the user from the settings activity to the change it to home activity and yeah that's it there is uh, no need to do any further changes or things okay I mean this is just the way now you can test the app and it will work fine so yeah now let's go to the I mean we have to add now in this tutorial we will work on the product details activity where a user will be able to see the details of the product specific product and to add that specific product into his cart or her cart. So yeah let's add a new activity and we can give it a name as a product details activity and then click finish so it is created successfully now let's come here click on text and let's change over this constant layout to the relative layout first of all we need a image view to display the product image so you can say image view match parent rep content change the height to 260 dp scale type center crop and in order to check you can also add a source that is either if this image view is uh, what is the size i mean the width and height of it so you can also add a picture to it so you can see this will be the view but i'm not going to add this source here and let's give ID to it and we can give it the ID like product underscore image underscore details next one is the to display the product name so we need a text view match parent rep content layout below ID and copy the paste this ID here text you can say product name text color must be black text size textile should be bold and text size 14 sp or if you want you can give it 15 sp if I zoom it and you can see this is the product name gravity at the center so you can say center margin top should be 10 dp then we need to display the product description so let's copy paste this and first of all change this to product description and copy this let's give id for our product name so that we can move the description below after it so you can say product underscore name underscore details and copy this and paste that here so you can see this now let's increase the size of it to 18 sp the product name will be like that and after that for it it must be 15 and uh, Let's change it to 16. 
and now let's give id to it so id will be product underscore description underscore details and we again need to copy paste this text view for the product price so change this to product price product price and it must be below the description so we can paste that here sorry first remove this and paste that here you can see this is our product price now we have to add a kind of button that can increment the total number of products that is let's say if a user want to purchase two quantity three quantity of that specific products or how much quantity the user want to purchase so we must allow the user to do that also I mean to choose or select the quantity of the product he want to purchase so I will provide link okay this link will be available in the description down below which is Android Arsenal and you can see this elegant number button if you scroll down below then here you can see we will add this kind of button so in order to add this button in our app all you gonna need is to come down here and here you can see we have this grab the latest version on Gradle using okay so we must copy this uh, dependency copy it let's go to our android studio and here in our module app all we gonna need is to pass that here and make sure to change this compile with implementation so yeah that's it now click on sync now and if you want to read about it then there are some functionalities of it you can see on the usage to get the number simply called get number and you can also set a click listener on this button so you can see I mean you can read it in details in order to understand which functionalities this will perform okay this elegant button or you can say this counter button which is by this Android Arsenal and uh, this link will be available in the description down below so you can read it from here so you can see the dependency is set up correctly and now the next thing is to add this button so after this uh, product price we can say com dot and you can see this will appear this uh, seven dot elegant number dot view which is this one click on that and make sure to close this and in here And it is com seven okay this not this one okay we just import the wrong one let's say dot seven elegant number now close this and uh, it is still displaying this red line okay sorry for that I mean we have to set the height and width for this that is why it is still red okay so in here uh, we can say I mean that is the correct one okay so we have to set first of all the uh, height and width for it for it so Android layout width it must be rep content and also the layout height it must also be match parent sorry rep content here you can see this is the button now let's add elevation which will be 6 dp text size of it must be 16 will be good okay so you can see it is now visible more and uh, let's set the initial number to 1 so that the user must purchase its purchase I mean only uh, one product he can add I mean uh, if he do not increment the quantity so one will be the default quantity of that product and maximum the user can add uh, 10 quantities or you can give it any number here so now in this case the user can purchase only 10 quantity of a specific product that is let's say 10 iMacs or 10 MacBook Pros gravity must be center first of all let's move it below the uh, this product price and uh, 
let's give some margin from the top and it should be 10 will be good and id for this will be number underscore btn and by uh, writing this gravity it is not moving to the center so all we gonna need is to change this to center horizontal true so you can see this and now we need to add a card button that will add this product uh, to the cart I mean which will do changes in the Firebase database we will be add that and we will display it later on on the cart activity which you will create so yeah let's add a floating action button which is this first one android support design widget and it must be wrap content wrap content which you can see here at the top and uh, elevation 6 dp background tint white source will be the nav cart icon which is this one you can see this align parent button to true and align parent right to true so it will be now here at this at the bottom here you can see this now let's give margin from all the side so 15 will be good you can see this and now also let's uh, add a button I mean add ID to this so it will be btn underscore cart or you can say let's give it a proper name which will be add product underscore to cart proper name add product to cart so yeah that's it and now let's go to the product details activity and let's define these um, buttons and text views so we have a floating action button let's give it a name as add to cart then we have an image view for displaying the product image so you can say product image then we have a counter button or you can say elegant which is basically the elegant number button so we can give it a name as number button or you can give it any name you want then we have text view for displaying the price of the product product description and product name now let's give a reference to these buttons so we have our add to cart button which is a floating action button and which is by the name by, by the id add product to cart button then we have number button which is of type elegant number button and the id for this is number button so we can say number button next one we have the product image and the id for this is product image details let's copy paste this for the text views so change this to text view text view text view first one is the product name second one is product description third one is the product price also change this to product name details product name not name it is description so you can say description details product image details sorry product price it is product price details 
so yeah that's it for this video in this video we just uh, create our this product details activity now in the next video tutorial what we'll be doing is that uh, once a user click on any product let me go back and here once a user click on any product here that is let's say if a user want to purchase this iPhone 6 so he will click on that and it will send the user to this activity which is our product details activity and from there uh, a user can simply see the description of that product the image the price and the name and also he can choose the quantity that is how much iPhones he wants to purchase and then when he click on this uh, card button then this product will be added to his cart now once that product is added to his cart we will be using the firebase database obviously then here a user will click here on this home button cart button and this home button cart button is for the cart activity which is also here I mean here the orders and the cart which will basically display all the products that a user purchase alongside with its quantity so yeah we will be working on that in the next tutorial so see you guys in the next video bye for now